Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiyam who are pushing this truth with sincerity, all right? So I'm, a, I'm in uh, Psalms 119, and I'm going to start at verse 15. It says, I will meditate in thy precepts, have respect unto thy ways. All right, so that's what we should do, brothers. We should always, because as we learn this law, as we learn these statutes, commandments, you know, there's various laws that as we're in this truth growing, we, we start to learn the law better. And so in, we're enabled to keep the law better, you know, according to, you know, um, according to the, the knowledge of the law, you know. Like, there's many laws when you got in this truth that you didn't even realize was a law, you know. And then when you realized it, then you quickened, you became quickened, right? And you started to, you started to uh, keep the law to the best of your ability, and that's the mindset that we, we should be in, brothers. Um, verse 16. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. All right? So we obviously, we can't forget the word, right? We can't forget the truth. That's why we always have to be diligent and study, study, read, watch videos. Constant edification, man. We're in, we're in some uh, serious times, and, and this is the time to be on fire, you see? You want to be on fire, you know? But while we're doing this, you have to understand that we're still in rehearsal. You know, we're still in this flesh, which makes us weak. And, and, and you know, there's times when we transgress the law. You know, we, we, you know, we really just got to keep pushing and bounce back and then just pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahashai don't take the spirit off us. You know, let's get that real quick. And we're rehearsing these righteous acts. It says, Judges 5.11, they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drying water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And this is the, the, the truth is likened unto water. You know, remember Yahweh Shai said, I shall give you water and you shall never thirst. I shall give you bread and you shall never hunger. When he was using it as a metaphor for this truth. All right. So the noise of the archers, we already know what that is. That's the missiles, you know in the places of drawing water. So that's what we're doing. We're drawing the water. We're drawing this knowledge out. Right? We're coming into remembrance. We're being revived, you know? Like when you take a, a shower in the morning, you know that water that hits your face, it revives you, you see? In the same way, this truth, it revives our spirit, man. It revives our soul, you see? And it says, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So the place where the noise of archers is coming is Babylon, America. The place where we're drawing water, which is this living water, this knowledge and this truth. You see, we're rehearsing the righteous acts in this place. Because when you go in a rehearsal, it's, it's not the real thing, right? You're, you're rehearsing. So you might fuck up here and there, right? That's why you rehearse, you practice. You see, let's, let's look that word up. Rehearse. Because that's what we're doing, brothers. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. Let's see. Oops. <clears throat> Rehearse means practice for later public performance. Supervise that is practicing for a later public performance. Mentally prepare or recite words one's intends to say. All right, see, so we're rehearsing this thing. We're practicing for later. You know, for what? What's later? It's the kingdom, man. We're gonna have the minds. That, I mean, I'm sorry. We're gonna have the laws and statutes in our in our minds. You know. So we're gonna have we're gonna have that in our mind, and we're gonna it's gonna be a. Uh, it's going to be no longer a rehearsal. It's going to be that public performance, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven, where we're going to have all the knowledge and power. And then, and you know what I'm saying? We're going, to be, we're going to be perfect in that day. But right now, you know, 
I'm not saying to go out there and, you know, continually transgress the law, but hey, we're in captivity, man. There's laws that we can't keep. That when we, you know, when we try to keep these laws, they're just impossible to keep in, in Babylon, America, you know? So we rehearse the righteous act in the same place where we're drawing the waters. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai go down to the gates. See, so now going down to the gates is a metaphor for going down into the to the, the men who are able to teach this truth. That's where you draw the water. That's where you get the, the, the spiritual knowledge, the truth, the wisdom. You got to go to the men of the Lord. You got to go to the prophets. You know, that's the gates, all right? Let's go back to uh, Psalm 119. Verse 17. Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. See? So that's what should be our prayer. Deal, deal bountifully with and keep thy word, you know? Open thou mine, open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. See? So that's what we're doing, brothers, when we're watching these videos and we're studying and we're learning and we're edifying each other. We're literally opening up the wondrous things of the law. You know, and the wondrous things literally are going to be the things that save us, you know, give us salvation. If you have the spirit of an Israelite, you know, of a of a, an elect. And hey, you're going to take that thing, you won't take it light, you know. You're going to have a sincere admiration for the law. Verse 19. I am a stranger in the earth, hide not thy commandments from me. And at one time we were all strangers, you know, now that we're in this truth, and we're rehearsing the righteous acts, trying to keep the laws, now we're not, you know, the... The, you, we're, we're praying we're not strangers now anymore we're not Gentiles but now we're the Israelites and now we're coming into our true power reviving our spirit and uh, you know repenting and, uh, and and it's that remnant that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai preserves who are going to get this truth and this knowledge alright hide not thy commandments from me see that's a prayer you should have don't please Reveal the laws. That's what you're saying. Reveal the law to me, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, so that I can keep it. You know, how can you keep how can you keep a law that you don't know? You see? But since I said that it does happen. By nature, our our people will naturally keep some of these laws, not even knowing it because it's by nature. You know, and let's get that. You may not even know certain laws and you're keeping them, you know? Or you, you may, you know, find out, learn a law and then be like, oh, okay, that's why I was always like that about that situation because my spirit was already naturally keeping that law. You know, some of you may have never liked pork or it grossed you out or you never ate pork because some, someone write about it even before you were in the truth. Well, that's an example, man, you know? Romans 2 and 14 For when the Gentiles Which means strangers, right? Like King David, he was saying You know um, um, What did he say? I am a stranger in the earth See So that's what he's talking about Whenever we go away from our power We go off we lose the laws, statutes, and commandments, we become strangers. So, for when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. Oops, I didn't mean to switch it, but you get the point. By nature, you keep some of you Israelites are keeping these laws without even knowing it. Psalms 119 20 It says My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times 
Thou hast rebuked the proud and th that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. All right, and the proud is usually dealing with uh, Esau, Edom, but then you have the two-thirds who they're just like Esau. They have the same pride. They have the same, uh, same uh, non-belief issues. You know what I'm saying? They, don't, they lack faith. You know? They don't believe in this truth. They, they don't believe you have to keep the law. You know? They, they, they're reprobates. Yahweh has given, up to, given them up to a reprobate spirit. So it's a great mercy for him to give you the understanding of this truth, man. And, and you know, every day, you know, as a teacher of this truth, you know, you could see the blindness and the slumberness that's put on our people, man. They're, they're just fucking in absolute madness, man. They have no fucking clue when it comes to this truth. And why is that? Because the wicked are ruling over them, man. And they err from the commandments, you know, like it says in 21. Remove me from, re remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. See, so that's what we're doing. Well, that's why we're doing the work. We're saying, you know, please take this off of us because, you know, remove us, remove the shame off us. You know, it's a shame to be calling yourself a, a black man or a Mexican or a, a fucking Native American or an African American. That's a shame, man. Remove that shame from you. You're an Israelite. You're so-called black, Latino, or Native American. The Bible calls you an Israelite. 23. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. So that's about to happen to us right now, right? Because you would call uh, Governor Jared Polis a modern-day prince. And he's speaking against us right now, right? Because he's encouraging everybody, and we're in Colorado, he's encouraging everybody to, uh, to get that vaccination, man. They got lotteries going. They got all these stupid incentives to try to get these people vaccinated, you know? And that's an example of a prince speaking against you, man. We're, we're, we're in a Babylon, America, where these princes, which are governors nowadays, modern-day prince, Hey, he's speaking against us because he's telling us to take a jab, take a vaccination, and it's, a, it's contrary to our law, man. We're not supposed to do that because of the no cuttings in the flesh law, you know? Not only that, trust not thine enemy, you know? Let me just get that since I brought it up. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So that means you never want to trust fucking Joe Biden. You never want to trust fucking gay ass Jared Polis, you know. No, you don't trust the enemy, man. But you know, our people are in such darkness and slumber that Yahweh Bashim Yahashai has given them, them up to a reprobate spirit. And they can't get right. We, that's what we call them. Can't get right. It's the two-thirds. Can't get right. You know? Um, Revelations 119. And I'm going to go. I'm at um, 24. It reads, Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Right? And this is a beautiful verse too because... When you're in this world and you're going through these trials and these tribulations, you don't want to go to the world for advice, man. You don't want to go to your mom for advice. You don't want to go to your fucking brother, unless he's a brother in the truth. You don't want to go to your, your father if he's in the world. No, you got to go to the counselors who are keeping the testimonies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Hello. Good. I'm, I'm getting ready to hammer these out. Huh?
Salakia. Got a little distracted. Had the uh, had the uh, plantation crack plantation uh, master cracking the whip real quick. But anyway, I'm almost done with this lesson anyway. So we're at uh, 119 and verse 25. says my soul let me see it says dayleth my soul cleaveth unto the dust quicken thou me according to thy word remember I, I referenced that earlier we were getting quickened by this knowledge, by this truth. And um, that's what it is. The, what quickens us? The laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. That's what's going to quicken our spirit. You know, you teach a two third, a law, and a statute, and they, they just, they don't even, you know, have no reverence, no respect, no consideration for it. And, and they don't, that's, that's it. how do you know if you're a two third if you, if you can't get this truth, man? If you can't simply give up eating bacon man you want to you rather eat bacon than to embrace the, the the power of the holy scriptures the power of your of your heritage you know that's a two-third mentality man there's a lot of things that that we you know you got to learn in this truth and these laws statutes and commandments so that you can you know you can make your uh you know make your uh self worthy see Verse 27, make me understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness, strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove me from the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. See? So we should say that prayer too, man. Remove us, help us to, when we're doing these lessons, that we don't come out here spilling out uh, lies or breaking these scriptures down wrong, you know? Because then you're leading the flock astray, you know. You want to pray that the Lord is and the Spirit is working with you, you know. And really, if you stop and you put take your hand off the plow, hey, that Spirit's going to jump off you, man. It's, it's just like anything else in life, man. You, you know, you, you want to become an expert, you, you do it every day. You do it all the time, you know. If you, if you want to just go at it half-assed, well, you're not going to be good at anything when you join half-ass, you know? Verse 26. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. You see this righteous prayer? We should be saying that, you know, in our hearts and our minds. Teach me the statutes, you know? And see how we grow in this truth, man. Teach me the ways, man. It's not going to be overnight. It's a, it's a situation where it, it's going to be a little while, you know? It's going gonna, it's gonna, to, you know, you're not considered an elder until you're in this thing like 20 years, man. And, you know, Lord willing, I'm never an elder in this truth, you know? I don't want to be here for another 15 years, you know? Um... 27, make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. See, so that's the beautiful thing about this true knowledge and wisdom, man. When you learn this truth, well, man, now you're excited. You want to talk about the, uh, about the wondrous works, you know? You want to talk about the truth. You want to talk about the chariots. You want to talk about salvation. You want to talk about the two-thirds. You want to talk about... Um, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know? You want to talk about wisdom. You want to talk about this whole, this whole truth, man. It's a passion. It becomes a spirit that jumps on you and just stays on you, man. Lord willing, you know? Verse 28, My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according unto thy word. Remove me 
Remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. See? So some of us are going to choose the way of truth, man. The elect will. All right? Who's going to believe our report? The elect will believe our report. You know? Who's going to choose the way of the truth? The elect are going to choose the way of the truth. All right? Verse 31. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Yahweh, put me not to shame. And that's our prayer, man. We're trying to... We're trying to do this work as best as we can. We're trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments as best we can here in our captivity. And, and now we're saying, Yahweh, put us not to shame. You know, now we have an expectation, you know, and we are the hopeful elect, and we're expected to be taken up in, uh, in, in the chariots on the day of wrath, which is described in the Bible. Let me see, 31. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Yahweh, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. And enlarging your heart, it goes into enlarging your mind, meaning your understanding, your brain. Understanding of this law, understanding of this truth. This is what, this is what's going to, um, you know what I mean? This is what's going to... Um, enlarge your heart is the is learning these statutes laws and commandments that's how you enlarge your heart meaning your mind when you have your mind um set again set towards this truth watch let me get it real quick let's see This is a Yapa, a beautiful verse. Jeremiah 3 and 15. Let's get it. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right? So this is what enlarges your heart, meaning your mind, is this truth, the, the knowledge, the knowing, the statutes, laws, and commandments. So that you could keep them to the best of your ability. See? But if you don't know them, then, then how are you going to keep them? And if you don't have pastors to teach you according to Yahweh's mind, right? Because we're on the one accord with Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Because remember, the word heart means mind. So I'm going to read this verse saying it like that. And I will give you pastors according to mine mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right? So... So with that being said, this is, this is the mercy, the gates, the prophets. We're out here learning the law, statutes, and commandments, becoming judges on earth. And so, Yahweh is telling you, hey, I'm going to give you pastors who have the same mind as I do. And they're going to teach you knowledge and understanding, you know. Um, So let me go to this last verse and then I'm going to close it out. This is Romans 10 and 14. And it says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Alright? So how are you going to learn this truth without a preacher? How are you going to learn without a, a prophet, a teacher? on the street corners or on these videos. How are you gonna how are you gonna call on someone who you never even heard of? You know how are you gonna the two thirds, the one third, you know, we gotta we gotta teach them the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, the true powers of Israel. Alright? Because how are they gonna call on him? How are they gonna believe in him if they've never even heard of him? But it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahashai that we're able to teach, preach, go out on the street corners. And, and it's the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for us to be out there and, and uh, you know, giving this knowledge to the, uh, giving this knowledge to the, uh, the Gentiles, who are you strangers of Israel, man. And I will give you pastors according to my mind, 
which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, right? So with that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, the Kaf Kadash. The honors goes out to the elder apostles of great millstone for teaching me this truth. Also in Al for pushing this truth with sincerity. Shalom to the elect.